I know they have, like, an American flag on the side, but... First of all, that's unexpected. Why put an American flag on a Hummer, first of all? I know that the U.S. Army uses the Humvee and everything, but the Hummer is not a Humvee, because Hummers are automatic transmission, and Humvees are manual transmission. And everyone knows that manual transmission is better than automatic transmission. But anyway, why are they calling the Humvee a Patriot? I mean, sure, the U.S. Army uses uses Humvees, but I mean, so do a lot of other nations, and, uh... Pretty much all that the Hummer's known for is being an expensive, large SUV that uses up a lot of fuel. So, by calling it a Patriot, are they saying the Hummer is less fuel efficient or something? I, I'm not catching on here. And right now I'm rambling while I, uh, pretty much get this achievement for you guys. We'll show you how to do it. I know all you guys are probably going to be trolls and, uh, search up whoever's... My friends are signing in the notifications. I forgot to turn it off, but I'm not going to restart the entire video just to save my friends' identities. <laughs> that sounds douchey. It's not. I'm like, really, what are you guys going to do to them? And so, yeah, this is how I'm getting this achievement. It's pretty much the same concept as the other one. And after this, I will show you guys an even easier way to get the achievement. And I hit the door. There we go. And also, uh, I would recommend not doing this on your permanent save file, because you're probably going to end up getting busted, losing your weapons, and you're going to use up a lot of ammo, and... I just got the chain reaction perk completely, I mean, achievement, completely unexpected. Oh my god, that's good. <laughs> okay, guys, I am... I think you guys get the drift, uh, you just sit here, pretty much, shoot anyone coming on, like last time, do not let them get too close. But I'm going to go, uh, restart this audio file, like... Because Audacity has a tendency to go mess up. And I don't want to have to lose this audio file. So I'm going to go uh, save this audio file. Then I'll show you guys a final way. And possibly the easiest if you uh, do it the right way. On how to go get it. This is achievement. I mean, yeah, the achievement. The one man army achievement. Hello guys, this is Checkers. And I am back with uh, blind firing at people through the window. So, uh, now I'm going to show you the final way, and probably the easiest way, to get the one-man army achievement. And Juggernaut wants me to join a party. Typical. He is gonna watch this in this video. Um, lol. Or raffle a lot. And yes, I use Leet Speak in my regular, everyday vocabulary. I'm a nerd, I know. And I text a lot, too, though, but that's probably why, but... Yeah. So, here is another way. Okay. First, what you're gonna do is go to game. New. Yes. Loading screen, loading screen, loading, 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 and loading, loading, and loading, loading, and loading, loading, and loading, and screen, there ain't no respect, because when we're loading, we're loading your graphical sets. Yeah, that works, sort of. It works, okay? And there is blackness. And a, and a, a cutscene, and we'll skip that. Nico, my cousin, it's so good to see you in Liberty City. You know, okay, car. follow the path. Easy enough. Parker! Show- Parker, throwing gr how does throwing grenades make you gay or straight? No, I don't understand how you can be- how it makes you a homosexual if you throw too many grenades. It makes you retarded? No, if they're killing you, that obviously means they have some sort of minor strategy behind it. Wanna play? It's, yeah, Parker is talking to his friend who is also homophobic, I'm guessing. Yeah, you're gonna die, Parker. Yeah, Parker is one of those characters who uh, excessively uses the word gay to express something being dislikable, even though I think that is very stupid. I know I do it sometimes, I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite, but he just uses it way too much. And for all you people who call things gay, if you actually translate it to what it really means in the English language, you guys really understand how stupid you sound. 
so I am going through the tutorial because apparently Rockstar does not think I know how to play this game. Sleep in this bed will save your game in advanced time by six hours. Really now? This flashing R on the radar shows where to meet Roman. What if I don't want to meet Roman? No, I do not want to. Are you? Yes. Okay. Make sure not to save over your autosave. Oh, you can save any vehicle by parking the spot outside of the safe house. Well, really, Rockstar, then why the heck do when I ever park in some places? Why does my car disappear? That's another thing, Rockstar. Why does my car always have to disappear when I park there? I will continue ranting. So first thing you're going to do is get a car. Gee, where can I get a car? I have no clue. Okay, and then you're going to want to go over to the... Algonquin, is that how you say it? Algonquin Bridge. So follow the bridge. Go into the bridge. But really, Rockstar, I park my car there thinking that it would be saved. But from that parking spot, I have lost the gold comet that you win from Brucey's Racing Missions. I lost that car by parking it there. Two Sanchez's and a Banshee. Why, Rockstar? Why do I have to always lose my cars? <laughs> and really, Sanchez's are a lot harder than you think they are to find. I mean, sure, you might see one, then you're like, oh, cool. But when you actually try to go find a Sanchez, it is the hardest thing in the world to find. I would just like to point that out. So, we're going to the breeze, going to the breeze, going to the breeze. And, due to uh, bomb threats in the game, they said that the bridges are closed off. So here is what we are going to do. Okay, I have a six star wanted level. Ooh. Okay. Yep, there is a railroad strategically located under this bridge. And now I'm just going to go crouch right here and wait. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. So yeah, that was a. Uh, Good designing, good designing there, Rockstar. Thanks for helping me get this achievement extremely easily. So, get up to the bridge, jump up the edge, and you'll fall on this railroad. Then you just sit here all day, and wait, and sit here, and wait. And did you know that Bit Rumble 2 is online? I, I didn't think you guys know that he was online, but he is, surprisingly. So, uh, what they will do, though, is they will send a helicopter after you, which will attempt to shoot you. Uh, just make sure to move out of the way of the bullets. And also, what I will notice is sometimes police officers will come from either end. I don't like calling them police officers, so that's like the formal name. The cops will come from either end, and you're going to go... Sometimes they will come and they will shoot at you, try to dodge the bullets... Uh, that has happened to me once, and the first time I got this achievement, the cops actually started running after me, I was like, oh crap, I ran around, then right as I got wasted, that's when I got the achievement, so then I restarted my game, and, okay, it appears the helicopter is shooting at me, sorry I do not have sound right now, but in the recording you obviously will, but, yep. So yeah, this will only work at the start of the game when the bridges are after actually closed off. As you progress through the story, you will uh, bridges will open up and then it'll make it uh, impossible to g actually get it this way. Oh crap! There's a cop over there shooting me. Let's try to move out of his vision. Are we good? Are we good? Yep, right here. So yeah, just keep in mind where mind where all the cops are and. Uh, Try to position yourself so that they aren't in a position to shoot you. Right now, it appears that they are uh, committing suicide. If you just saw that guy jump off the bridge. And Juggernaut still wants me to join a party. Yep, <laughs> suicidal cops. That's a lovely little trick right there. Romeo, don't do it. You have better things to live for. 
Uh, shooting. What am I even wearing? Track pants? What are these? I thought they were jeans. It appears not. I oh, don't know. Right when the game started, I went to the Russian shop and bought whatever they had. I do not like the default clothes in this game. Run in, run in. Ouch. Nah. Now that was uncalled for. So yeah. Pretty much I do not have the patience and my ADHD is restricting me from sitting here. But pretty much you get the idea. Just sit here and uh, I'm going to go. This is Checkers and uh, I am out. And uh, since I do not have a lot of viewers, you could probably ask me something in the comments and I would probably actually respond to it. And I'm still getting shot at. So, uh, yeah, this is Checkers, guys, and bye.